Your soul gets depressed and you get depressed and start talking about mess instead of your in your nevertheless in your wilderness. I must give him a nevertheless. Yes, I need a yes, nevertheless, or nevertheless, yes, I like a nevertheless, yes, because that's it. Nevertheless, I don't care what I'm going on. I'm gonna get it out. I don't care, I'm no family, no friends of I got God and anybody in the name of Jesus. Well, nevertheless, yes, sir. Christ the small. Are you on a rock at all? Are you on the rock? See what smell, what look, what taste, what feel, what the rock is cooking himself? Or are you on the solid? That's why her soul got uh, depressed. Her soul got up and departed from her. The Bible says, and Rachel's soul departed from her. And she died. My premise says she died a long time before that. Wonder how I know? Try and walk, y'all, so bear with me. Wonder how I know? <laughs> she died. She died before that. How do we know? Oh, because she's barren. When you are barren, that's a part of you that is dead. I don't care what it looks like. My womb, my soul, my foot, my body yeah, is dead. My fibber chef was lame in both feet. Therefore, he was dead in both feet. He could not use them, could he? So her area, her box, we call like to call it Pandora. Her box, my box should be pretty. do go. go down there comes the king it should be a president for him that nobody else has touched i am a president that nobody else has touched except me but but, I, but then when i've got that situation i'm bound when your president becomes a coffin and then people look at it you cannot bear children your job is to bear and multiply the seed that the king deposits in you when you cannot do that you are dead you cannot add to the legacy the name of the king you are you add it to the name. The body of Jesus Christ. How are you adding to the body? We need you to add a little bit more. You are sitting around useless. If you want to be used to stay at home, that's my goodness. God could do more with five people, right? There, than he could do with just one uh, uh, with a thousand of you. We uh, we don't need you if you're gonna be lay on the seat and if you're gonna be dead, uh, go home and sit on the couch and just watch TV from uh, watch church on TV from your home. We need a body. And if I'm the pinky toe, and I don't go in because I have a crutch. And I don't go in because I have a crutch. Then I leave my body, my church body handicapped. No, I, I leave them without what they need. If I am the pinky, right, and I'm supposed to be there just because I got a broken foot. I am a broken, my responsibilities still stand. I still have to do the cards for the birthdays, for the women that I send the cards to. I send the poetry. That's what God told me to do because my foot is messed up. Does that affect my hands? My hands are messed up too. I'm leaning on hands that have carpal tunnel in them. Uh, in essence, they said it. Be careful because you're making your hands worse while you are walking with the crutches. But if you don't do this, you could be laid as a result of it. Oh, they knew he had a plan. You knew he did it. He attacked my hands, so I could not. He attacked my feet, because my cadet my day, da, 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 da. So I could not have anything to stand on or knee. Well, Tim people took a knee. The church needs to take its knees back. We gave them up to the highest bidder. We sold them to the enemy. We stopped praying. And now we wonder why there are shootings in the schools. And there are no kings of praying. If there are kings, we'll come together and pray. God said, Matthew 18, 20, he will come in the midst of us. He will be in it if God is in it. He will fix the situation. He will do it if we are not praying. God is not a liar. So if things aren't getting fixed, then if we are not praying. That's the answer. That's the key. That's it. You're not praying. Don't ask why it's not getting fixed. You are in it. If you were praying, God said he would come in Matthew 18, 20, and he would stand against it. As that back, if you spoke to the mountain, it will remove itself and cast itself into the sea. You are not speaking. You are closing your mouth. So therefore, you are in, in it. And you are the reason why. We are still seeing what we're seeing. Done. Stop complaining. You are not adding to the problem. Of, I'm sorry, you're not adding to the solution. You're adding to the issue. You're adding to the problem. You're running those tissue. We don't need it. Toss it inside. Get yourself together. Get in line. And start working and doing what God called you to do. Like Miss Jackie always says, know your gifts and start operating in them. We don't need you and your tears. What do your tears? What are your tears going to do? Those kids are gone. And it's all, 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 all the fault of the body of Christ. It is. 
done. I blame us. Who falls it? Me. Can I do more? I, I pray harder. Can I do more? I, 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 I can't turn my face down because I take medicine. But I, I could do better. What can I do better? Am I seeking God about what he wants to do in the season? I get up, I do my vlog, I pray all day, I talk to God all day, and I pray at 4 and 4, but is that enough? Probably not. Why? Because it's easy now. It wasn't easy when I first started doing it. It wasn't. And it's still a little harder to pray at 4 o'clock in the afternoon because I have to stop doing whatever I'm in the mode of doing and stop and give God precedence and give God because I want God to give me and my prayers precedence. So if I want precedent from God, then I have to make him president of my life. I can't give it to Biden. Make God Biden's president and then ask God to help me. If you want God to be president, uh, make you president and give you what you need. Uh, make your needs precedent to him. You have to make him president over your life. And if he's not president or presidential in your life, then you ain't getting nothing. He prepares a table before me. Hallelujah. In the presence of my enemies. All you got is cookies on the table. He anointed my head before he on my cup. Run it over surely. Goodness and mercy. If you ain't got goodness and mercy following you, you ain't met surely. Surely, goodness and mercy, said it I. I can't be. I, I, I have the ability to walk. I just, I need crutches. <laughs> Bad. But I could be lame. I could have been in that school and got shot. There's two adults shot and dead. They're dead. I don't know if there were more shot, but there's two adults that are dead. I could have been one of those adults. Surely, I'm gonna complain. Goodness and mercy. Uh, Cause goodness and mercy is, if they're saved, goodness and mercy is following them. It just follows them as they go their way to meet the king. I'm down here complaining because I don't have a king. Who cares? I still want my king. God knows I want my king because I want to go to ministry. I want to go to ministry. But are my, are my, are my motives completely clean about going to ministry? I want the king because I want the king here. I want a marriage ministry in the house. I want to serve him. And I want to go to ministry. Are my motives completely clean and all about God? No! I want to be happy. And when I want crutches, I want somebody to help you. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> I ho, 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 need, I need help. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I, 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 I don't need that much help, y'all. I, 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 I can walk. Because I can't feel any weight on my left foot. I'm not allowed to, right? Because the cast is on there, plus they said, don't put any weight on your left foot. Because the, the option was they were going to do surgery and fuse and fuse the bone and push it together. But they said, okay, so you don't want to do surgery, we'll try the cast first. They told me, we're warning you, do not put pressure on this foot. If I go back, because the, the, it's a fracture, so it just keep cracking to the middle of your foot. So if, I don't, if I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do and I put weight on the foot, they will have to do surgery. It's not a fracture, just a normal fracture. I fractured my foot. I didn't do anything with my foot. It happened. Oh, then he used an, uh, 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 he used an epidemic to attack my foot, to fracture my foot. So I've got the break, so it makes it hard for me to walk back and forth. It makes it hard for me to pray. But also, it's an epidemic, which means I cannot, if I do anything to hurt this foot, but to compromise the foot, I'm going to be worse off than I am now. Ah, don't miss me. I'm going to put oil on my foot every day. I moisturize my foot. You know, I'm about moisture. And I'm okay! God said, get baby, you don't have to worry about it. He said, I said, I didn't pray about the donut. I didn't pray about it. I said, God, I'm still going down this donut. So I put my leg out to the side because I, I can literally, I can almost do a split. I really can. I can almost do a split. I can lift my foot up to my head with no problems. I can hold my foot up to my head be from behind with no problems. Because I have a Zumba teacher that's a ballerina. She, she's a, a, she's a, a ballerina. She's a prima ballerina. Of course I'm going to know how to do stupid stuff with my legs. So I shot my leg out, my left leg out to the left, kneel my um, my right knee uh, leg down, it's just the braces on it, the, it's not affected by the kneeling, and then I went to praying, I'm just glad I kept adjusting it, so I, I was comfortable, but I didn't break tongues, blah, blah, blah. I went in tongues, and while I was adjusting it, I didn't break tongues, see the problem is, you break tongues, you break tongues, you break tongues, what about it, are you trying to get the God, what are you doing, break your tongue, why are you, are you affected by what people are saying around you, I said, God, thank you, because I finally, I closed my mouth, and I was still praying, but I was praying in tongues while my mouth was closed, and my eyes were closed, I said, thank you, God, for this, because I was able to even say, thank you, God, for this, I had the perfect concentration I needed, why, because in the wilderness, so oh God, the enemy comes to attack you while you're praying, and you learn how to concentrate while you're praying, that wilderness I went through was no joke, 
I said, thank you for the bills, I asked, I said, I asked God for it, I want to be a bill seeker to be able to pray in tongues out, put in my mouth, uh, because I want to be able to attack the enemy wherever I'm standing, if I'm standing in church, I need to be able to attack him in tongues and watch demons are trimmed off at the name of Jesus, I want to be able to pray in sync with the Holy Spirit, do it my mouth closed, nobody sees it, I don't want anybody out there, shoot it, eat, pray it in tongues, they wouldn't, and even if they did, they wouldn't say it, they wouldn't dare, I lay on the floor, 